you will need a toddler-sized spoon, a plastic plate, and a toddler-sized fork with blunt tines. Optional, a bowl with high sides and a weighted bottom. Steam, cook, or microwave vegetables until they're soft, then cut them into bite-sized pieces or dice or shred them. Cut round foods like grapes, cherry tomatoes, and pitted olives or cherries into halves or quarters. Don't push your child to clean their plate. Serve them foods they can easily scoop up with a spoon, like thick applesauce and mac and cheese. Scatter wheel or shell-shaped cooked pasta on a plastic plate for them to pick up with a blunt fork. A bowl with high sides and a weighted bottom is easier for a child to scoop food from and will stay put while they're trying. Step 4. If your child is picky, one way to get a toddler to eat just about anything is to provide them with something to dunk it in. Serve pieces of fruit with yogurt, steamed veggies with hummus, wheat crackers with salsa. And offer them um, a variety of foods, so things like finger foods, then, then they know that they're in control and that, that, that they can take, to, you know, choose to eat the foods so that, that they want. Should we try you with this little bit of carrot? I think throughout a large part of stage three weaning, he's been quite fussy. I've been really quite persistent, which has involved a lot of patience in trying to get some food and some energy inside him. That's the point. Between six and 12 months is the point where you need to introduce him to as many different tastes, flavours, textures, colours as possible. Yeah, is that good? Yummy banana. Is it good? Is it good? Yeah, okay. You can buy it from both sides. She's having some um, tomatoes, some cherry tomatoes, which I cut up. Some chicken nuggets with a little bit of ketchup because she's getting to the stage where she likes to dip things. And she's having the rest of the yogurt from this morning. And she also likes to put her finger. Don't put your fingers in it, baby. Is that good? Is it good? Oh, I need to get you a spoon for that. Huh, are you hungry? There you go. Yummy. That's a bagel with cheese. It's not hot no more. There's some tuna. There's some tomatoes and a pickle and some crackers. Oh, okay. Yeah, of course you're going to go for the pickle. I already knew it's your favorite. Your second favorite next to bananas, huh? And then to drink, she's just having just an apple juice, just for a change. Look at that, you guys. He's using a spoon. <laughs> well, attempting to. <laughs> He's doing pretty good, though. That's fantastic, Ollie. Here, try again. Yeah. <laughs> That's fun to do with the spoon also, isn't it? No. Here, try it in there. <laughs> He's so excited. Here, hold it. Put it on the spoon. There you go. And now put it in your mouth. Mm. You did it! Oh my gosh, you guys. That deserves a thumbs up right there, I think. That's my big boy. Feeding himself with the spoon. Do you like your cereal? I think that you do like your cereal. You're very good at eating your cereal. And he's starting to make a mess. But thank goodness for suction cups. Do you need mommy's help now? No, you can do it yourself. We'll probably go a little faster if mommy helped. Oh. <laughs>